September of 1942, the new Tiger tank was rushed from the factory to join the beleaguered Panzer Division on the Eastern Front. The Tiger I was originally developed from the concept of the breakthrough tank to make it so powerful and so well protected that no Allied tank would have a hope of destroying it. This immense tank was fitted with the deadliest gun in the world, the infamous 88 millimeter. With the Panzer 3 and 4, we could start the firefight from only about 400 to 1,000 meters. Now, with the 88 millimeter gun and the Tiger 1, we could destroy any enemy from about 1,800 to 2,000 meters. We could now go into battle with a great feeling of confidence and superiority. I remember at the end of 1942 on the Northern Front, I was in the Tiger and I was faced with 30 enemy tanks. I was able to knock out 15 of them without being hit. There was one big problem. At 60 tons, we were always in danger of sinking into the mud. And at the Northern Front, there was a lot of wet and muddy terrain. It was hardly possible to find a bridge that we could cross unless the engineers were to fortify them in advance. Initially, the Tiger was unreliable and difficult to maintain. Even after these problems were resolved, German industry could never meet the Panzer Division's demand for the weapon. Only 1,350 Tigers were produced. The fact was, it was never a battle one-on-one. -on -one. It was always one against five one against 10. It was common for a Tiger to be facing 12 enemy tanks. I can remember when we were pulling back from Leningrad and there were three Tigers. We destroyed 52 Russian tanks, but they still had more tanks coming at us. <laughs> 